A new proposal from the Trump administration could throw a lifeline to the Navajo generating station by forcing utilities to buy a certain amount of power from coal-fired plants. But the plant has, left criti has critics from left and right and from energy executives to environmentalists, as Pat Flabetti reports from our Washington bureau. The Trump administration plan to keep unprofitable coal and, nu and nuclear plants open wasn't aimed specifically at the Navajo generating station. However, it did catch the attention of the plant supporters. President Donald Trump has long been a vocal supporter of the coal industry. We are going to put our coal miners back to work. They have not been treated well, but they're going to be treated well now. On Friday, the president took the next step, ordering the Energy Department to take immediate steps to make power companies buy electricity from coal and nuclear plants. The directive calls a diverse energy grid a matter of national security. That line of reasoning hasn't passed muster in Washington. John Shilk, president and CEO of the Electric Power Supply Association, dismissed the national security claim. The part of the Federal Power Act that's really supposed to be for very discreet emergencies, and experts across the spectrum in both parties have said there is no emergency that justifies the use of such extraordinary powers. According to Shilk, this move is not only unprecedented, but would also drive up energy prices for all Americans. Rates will go up substantially for consumers of all kinds, from small businesses to manufacturers to residences, because the whole point of the proposal is to force people to buy power that, it's now, that is now economic. But to the Navajo Nation office here, the proposal offers hope for the Navajo Generating Station, a coal-burning power plant scheduled to close in 2019, taking thousands of jobs with it. Uh, those jobs are vital, and, and those jobs provide not only for the individual f individuals who work there, but they, they also su provide support for the families and the extended families in the area. So um, can't understate the importance of NGS for the, for the families there. But the plant's only customer is the Central Arizona Project, which brings water to Phoenix and Tucson from the Colorado River. When CAP said it could get its power from cheaper and cleaner sources, that left the NGS facing a future without a viable client. Jackson Brossi, the executive director for the Navajo Nation Washington office, says this would be catastrophic for the tribe's economy. If the plant were to close, we would see between one and 3,000 individuals lose their jobs, and 90% of whom are Navajo. So in a place with very high unemployment, very high poverty, the impact would be tremendous. The Navajo Nation currently faces an unemployment rate of 40 percent, more than 10 times the national average according to the latest numbers from the tribe and the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Brossi says he's hopeful about the proposal and the economic security it could provide for the tribe. He acknowledged that it is still being reviewed by lawyers on all sides, but said he is optimistic. This isn't the first time that the Trump administration has tried to prop up the coal market. A similar proposal was rejected last year by the Federal Energy Regulatory Committee. However, that plan wasn't aimed specifically as a national security issue. In Washington, Pat Pobletti, Cronkite News.